Hello my darlings, it's Deontay back with another video. I am in my house shirt and pajama bottoms because we are about to clean some shoes. So Simple Shine reached out to me a few months ago and because I'm not in Chicago, I didn't feel like I had anything that needed to be cleaned as far as like shining shoes or cleaning shoes, new bucks, suede, leather and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I was like, I don't really have a use for any of your items, however, <laughs> you guys remember that I got these gazelles at the Salvation Army a few weeks ago and it was just like ding 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 I need suede cleaner let's try out your stuff on my thrifted shoes and so today we are going to see how or we're not see how we're going to put this simple shine suede and nubuck brush set premium suede and nubuck cleaner we're going to put it to the test on my um adidas gazelles and also <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I do need I need I do need some shoes to be clean. So I have these Zara um slides. These were like when I thank you guys for the love on my um luxury thrift um thrifted luxury shoe um collection. I will definitely link it above for those of you that haven't seen it. Um but these are a pair of flats that I kept in my office. And whenever my feet hurt from my high heels, I would throw these on. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I was like, you know what? These need to be cleaned as well. Um, these are Zara. I got these two Christmases ago during the Zara sale. And you see they need some cleaning as well. Cleaning as well. So I'm going to see how um, it cleans this as well. Because I was like, I need that. So let's get to it. I have a towel. I'm actually on my kitchen island. That's why I'm in my kitchen. Um, I didn't want to do it on my dining room table or outside because... I just didn't want it. So I got an old towel. So we're going to lay that down and let's read the descriptions. Let's do the, the, um, let's do the gazelles first because based on how it does on the gazelles, then we can say, you know, how it's going to work on my Zara shoes, but let's read the directions. That's the, that's the easiest thing. Let's lay this towel down. All right. So I guess I should have taken the laces out, right? It'll be all right. <laughs> I'll wash the laces afterwards. All right. So let's tuck the laces in because I did not take them out, which I should have done. And let's read the directions. My husband says, I don't read directions. I don't. I just was just spraying and cleaning. All right. So um, here is the, the, um, the formula. It's eight full ounces. And I want to say this is $19.99. I'm going to put a link to everything in the description box. Um, it says effectively yet gently removes dirt oil, salt, and water spots. And so if you're in Chicago or anywhere, you know, Chicago is home for me. So I always say Chicago, but anywhere where they have um, salt is where, is where you'd probably want to use this. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it says our simple shine premium suede and new butt cleaner. Keep your goods. Oh, my husband's Tim's. I could have tried it on those too. You know, every black man has a pair of tips. Um, <laughs> keeps your goods looking fantastic by removing dirt, oil, sweat, salt, and water spots. Our superior formula is effective yet gentle and made specifically for the most delicate suede and nubuck. Use our spray to restore boots, bags, hmm. bags, belts, and more to like new condition. The formula is clear and it will not change the color or darken material. All right, so directions. First, remove surface dirt and debris using either a clean cloth or a suede brush. So I think this is this is the suede brush. Um, hold bottle upright and spray eight spray eight inches from the item. Cover the entire surface area evenly to avoid spotting. Brush in the direction of the nap using a clean cloth or suede brush for best results. Use with our simple shine suede brush set. Allow item to dry prior to use. Okay. So let's open this up. So this is the premium suede and Nubuck brush set. Let's open that up. Hmm, what is this? All right. So this is the brush. What are the directions for this? Our simple shine premium suede, da 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 da, safe for all suede. That's what my husband says. That da 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 da. He's like, but what's the da 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 da? Okay, let me read the da 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 da. Our simple shine premium suede newbro brush kit keeps your goods looking fantastic by removing scuff marks and dirt. It includes all the brushes you need to remove marks and restore the texture by raising the nap without causing damage. All right. 
So, what is this? What do you do with this book? This is the sponge. I'm thinking this would be for new book. Oh, what is this part for? Let's try it all out. It doesn't have the, okay, let's, let's do it guys. Let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit so that you see what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> has the directions as to what these little things are. The bristle brush to remove mud, dirt, or salt, brush in the direction of the nap. The bristle brush can be used alone or with a suede cleaning solution. To protect the item, brush the article using gentle short strokes in the direction of the nap. If the nap becomes flattened, use the crepe brush to lift and fluff the pile. Okay, so this is, oh, the crepe brush. To remove any dirt or marks, rub suede back and forth using quick, vigorous strokes. So this is for suede. Oh, they're both for suede. The crepe brush will also lift and restore the pile of the nap. The crepe rubber may absorb the color of articles cleaned after few uses. However, the color should not transfer with use. I love that they put this there. And then the eraser. Using a clean, dry cloth, gently rub the surface to prep it. Rub the eraser back and forth on the mark you wish to remove. If the stain is wet, use a clean cloth. Oh, wow. Wow. The nap becomes flattened. Use the crate brush to lift and forth the pot. So, I think we're gonna use this one. Maybe we'll use this one on one and then this one on the other. All right, okay. So I'm gonna point the camera down so that you guys can kind of see what I am doing. All right, so let's saturate the shoe. Let's do that first. I should take off my Apple Watch. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's brush. Oh, we really see dirt there. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's use the eraser. I'm doing this with you guys. Ooh, open, open before they dry. Okay. Let's use the eraser. Oh, it's an actual eraser. Okay, I thought it was like some, okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Do one side versus the other. Oh, wow. You definitely see it there, right? This is kind of cathartic, actually. Not cathartic. This is kind of... <laughs> kind of makes me feel good. Oh, wow. All right, let's try here. Because it's because it's wet, I definitely saw it here. Oh, here we go. Oops. Let's see. Let's do some more up here. Do some erasing and then brushing. Is that how we're doing it? dare try the brush no let's just do this on this side nothing's coming off on there it's definitely getting that clean okay hold on let's get in this corner here can you see that oh okay let me work right here because I don't know if that's because it's wet or I don't know. So let's, I don't want to dampen it anymore. <laughs> let's erase that. Let 
and then in here. All right. I definitely can see the difference here, but it's wet. And so I'm thinking once it dries, you really get to see the effect. But back here, that's like night and day, right? Yeah, that's like night and day. That eraser did the trick. I kind of don't want to use the brush, but I will. Yeah, let's do the other side. I'll do the other side off camera. The real one that I want to try is this one okay so for this one i think i'm going to use the eraser and the brush let me make sure that I'm, the eraser can be done with if your stain is wet use a clean cloth to absorb the moisture oh prior to using the eraser wrong move didn't do that with the first one all right so then let's just use the brush no eraser i hope this works because i really love the shoe okay so brush all right, are we ready? Are we ready? Saturate it. Oh! Oh my gosh! Look at me spraying more. I don't even know if I'm supposed to spray more. I'm just spraying more. But did you see that? Like that whole that whole area right there is gone. Oh, oh, wait, wrong one. Hold up. So I think the brush, really saturating it and going down in there. Wow. Wow. This really works. Not to say I didn't think it was going to, but I've never done this before. Oh, wow. And do it on camera so you guys can see clean that up a lot let's see if we can this area right here Got this area clean probably have to put some grit into it and work on that and right in here let's use the um let's use this little thing see if that works right there lot better than what it did look like hold on let's see if we can go over it go over that one part that looks way better that one part is still irritating me though i probably have to put some elbow grease into it all right let's use the eraser on some of these little spots here because it's dry this eraser is everything oh yeah this eraser is the business oh look at that guys cleaned it right off oh yeah this eraser is becoming my best friend oh yeah Oh yeah, look at that. Brought it right back, that little area right there. Mm. I wonder if they sell this by itself because this is everything. Look at that, it just brought it right back. Look at that. Do we dare brush it? Let's brush it. Oh yeah. Actually, this 
squish myself without the solution? No, no, it needs a solution. That's a lie. It needs a solution. So there's what it's looking like without being dried. I need to work on this area right there. But I think, like I said, with some elbow grease. Look at that. Okay. Oh, do we dare do the front? I can do this all day, but you guys get the point. Um, let's try. Let's do some more. Why not? Let's do some more. Let's do one more. So here's that area there. Let's put some solution. And let's brush it this way. for them to dry them. That's going to be the real test. So let's, I'm going to do this off camera and then we'll, I'll come back. We'll wait for them to dry and we'll do a final, a final look-see. Okay, my love. So it's been a few hours. My wig has shifted. <laughs> oh, I was in there listening. Um, okay. So it's been a good amount of time. It's been a, like four or five hours could be more. I have my lunch, making my lunch back there. Um, and so I wanted to give you an update. So let's look at the Zara um, shoes. So this was one of them. This was the left foot. And if you remember, it's still, a, I really drenched these. I, I think I put too much solution on them. Um, and so once, they're not 100% dry, but I think it really did a good job of removing um the darkness over here that was on here from, I don't know whether it was my pants, I don't know, the ink transfer. So there's the Zara. There's the Zara one. I'm gonna work the eraser on that some more. And then here's the one that was really, really bad that we really, really worked on. And I think it did a good job for the amount of dark stuff that was at this is actually still a little damp too. So I think once it dries, it's gonna lighten up even more. And so once it dries, I'm gonna go over it with the eraser again, which I really, really enjoy. And probably do you know what let me see what happens if i brush it even now i think i did a really good job this was really 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 dark if you remember that um and even working on that you guys see how that is like totally brand new yeah so i think not that side that side yeah i think it did a really good job and once it once it dries down some more It'll be really good. And I really, because I was really like not wearing them because, not to say I don't, I want clean shoes, but you know, you don't want your shoes to look really, really like dirty and mangy. And so it was in my brain to take them to go get cleaned. And so, yeah, now I can wear them again. They, they look really good. They look really good. All right. So the gazelles. So was this, which one? Are I did both of them. I think this one's a little dark. Okay, so this was the one. This was the one that we did that we worked on, and so you can see that's really really good. Look at the back. I did both. Of, did I do this? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was this one I did. Look at that. That's really really good, y'all. I may be thrifting sneakers from here on out. <laughs> and bringing them back to life yeah a plus a plus so yeah i really like the product simple shine thank you so much for sponsoring this video um now you have saved me a good amount of money to go and get these done these are really these are really impressive like these okay you know i wear sneakers okay like once i do wear sneakers so this is like my running around shoe but this shoe i was really excited about because i wanted to bring them back because i really love these shoes i get so many compliments when i wear these shoes um and you guys when you ask me about flats these these are a pair of flats that i wear just running up and down 
And like I said, I used to wear them. They stayed in my office and whenever my heels got too much for me, I put this on, but that's impressive. That's really impressive to bring that back like that. All right, so once again, thank you. I'm gonna leave a link to all of these products, the Premium Suede New Buck, New Buck Cleaner and the Premium Suede and New Buck Brush Set. My husband's gonna have a good time with this because he, um, you know, living in Chicago, he didn't wanna give up his Tims, and so this would be really great for him as well. We're gonna have a good time cleaning all this suede and New Buck. All right, love you, we never pay retail. Thank you for stopping by. And um, I have some hauls for you coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned. Bye. Let me go eat my lunch and get back to listing. <laughs>